ready to wire the batteries right now and I had double checked it and we're supposed to wire it in parallel. That means red is going to be connected to red and black to black. So negative to negative, positive to positive. And what that will do effectively is keep the battery bank uh, as a 12 volt uh, system, but it will have double the capacity. So the number of amp hours will double. I'm not sure how many amp hours these are. Um, actually it says uh, 114 amp hours, so you got 228 amp hours. Nice. 228. Yeah, 228 amp hours of power here. She's gonna have because see each one here, just to show you what we're looking at here. It says it, it has 114 amp hours on one battery, and since we have two of them, it's gonna be 228. So she has a pretty decent um, battery bank now. Well, let me go ahead and wire it, and so we can take a look and see what it looks like. All right, what we've done now is we've taken this uh, black here, the pot, I mean the, not black, the red, the positive, to the positive. So we connected one end here and the other end over here. And this other one, we took the negative, which is the black, to the black, even though those, both cables are black. If I get red tape, maybe I'll put red tape there just to show it's positive, even though we can see it's the positive side. So black goes to black, red goes to red, or positive to positive, negative to negative. And what we're going to do essentially is we're going to pull the positive line into the um, vehicle for her to use and we're going to take the negative line and ground it to the vehicle body at least that's the plan <laughs> <laughs> all right we're just doing an initial test right now to make sure that we wired it up correctly and it's not like 28 volts <laughs> or 24 volts um, it should be 12 volts which it is because i've hooked up the inverter here and the inverter as you can see i don't know if you can i'm gonna try to get this to focus here it says 12.6 which is what this thing seems to be showing when um, it's full, 12.6, 12.7. So she's got a bank here that's showing 12.6. And this inverter is actually going to be transferred inside the um, van. But for now, we're just testing it. And I'm going to try to run cabling in. And then we can have power inside. And then the second thing to do is to run a cable from her alternator or her house battery. I mean the vehicle battery. And run it back here so it can charge the system up. Cabling system. We're going to uh, take a lesson learned from my experience with Little Blue 2. Um, I use 10 AWG, or I mean um, like 10 gauge wire. Uh, we're going to go with 4 gauge on hers, which is uh, thicker, thicker wiring. And the reason for that is to make it so that the electricity can flow better. And especially since we're running it from the back of the vehicle all the way up to the front. That's what we're going to do to bring the, the um, the red line down here to charge, the positive line to charge. So we're hoping that this is long enough. I'm gonna test it out and make sure it is long enough. And if it is, then we can get the charging system going and then use the leftovers to run the cable inside to her um, vehicle, which I'm hoping we can do here before the end of the night. Just wanted to point out something. Um, we bought this cable, not, not to be used as a jumper, but for the wiring. Okay, this is like really good wiring. It's um, uh, four gauge, so it's super thick. And I'm hoping that it's long enough to reach the whole system. And actually, even if it's not, because we got to throw a switch in the in the between anyways. I don't know if there's going to be enough room. We'll, we'll see. We'll figure it out. But you're going to see that I'm actually splitting it up. See here? See how it's going here? And all I'm doing essentially is I'm, I'm pulling it apart just like that. Isn't that crazy? So we're just pulling the two wires and we're separating the um, negative from the positive because we don't really need the negative to run the whole length of the vehicle. We're going to use the negative as um, ground from the back of the vehicle, from the battery pack here, to ground it to the chassis. And we might even use some of the leftovers as um, positive, but we're going to have to label it. Um, because I'm not sure I want to spend another $28 or whatever it was that we bought just for another set of red cables. So we might do it somewhere where it's kind of hidden and then mark it with a red um, tape or something. Just to show that it is positive and not black even though that's what it looks like. So essentially I have this, this connector, this round O connector here. Oh, this camera's having a hard time focusing here. But I have this O connector but this hole was too small for the cabling that I have to hook up for my fuse. This is a fuse unit I bought from the um, flea market here. It's a giant fuse. <laughs> and I've removed one of the tips here. So 
we had to remove the plastic and what I did was I just busted it I busted the plastic off using pliers and what we're gonna do is gonna pry that open right here well, it's not showing up. We're gonna pry that part open and then clamp down on the the wiring itself. You hear what I meant? This is what I meant. See how I I, re I opened it up so it's wider now, and we're gonna be able to put the wiring in there and then clamp down on it. Um, clamp down on it right now. So this tip is gonna be used to connect this portion right here to her red, and then the other part is gonna be connected to the um, the cabling that we you know that we converted from the um, jumper cable. At least that's what the plan is.